Greetings South Island CrossFit. Today is day nine of our at-home workouts. You're gonna start with a warm-up. You're gonna start with a cardio where you do some high knees for two minutes. And you do some inchworms with some push-ups, some goblet squats, some kettlebell deadlifts, kettlebell swings, then a hip flexor stretch, a wrist stretch, a bench lat stretch, which that'll be a new one to you, and a calf stretch. All right, start with your high knees. You can stand in place. Bring your knees up as high as you can. You can do this in running for about two minutes. Then an inchworm. Bend over, touch your toes like you want to stretch your hamstrings out. Then walk your hands out. Do a push-up at the very end. Then walk your hands back. Try to keep your legs straight as you come back up. On the kettlebell goblet squats, or on the goblet squat, bring your weight up to your just under your chin. Then do five squats. Drop your hips down below your knees. Then on the kettlebell deadlift or the deadlift, keep your weight up between your legs. Come to a full stand, drive through the heels, make sure you set up on that deadlift correctly. Then on the kettlebell swings, you can either do it uh, Russian to the eye level or American to overhead. Then, the hip flexor stretch, take a knee and put one leg out and then just put your hands down the ground and lean in so that you stretch your hip out. Hold that for 30 seconds each side. Then you'll do a wrist stretch, so turn your hands back toward your knees. Then pull your body back and stretch those wrists. So again, from the side angle here, put your hand, hands pointed toward your knees, then pull your body back and stretch those wrists. You can hold that for a minute. And then here's the one you probably haven't done yet. So grab your PVC or your broomstick, put your palms facing you, then put your elbows on a bench or on a chair, and then put your head through the window of your arms. This will stretch your lats out. This is a good stretch for stretching those lats. All right, the last stretch for our warm up is a calf stretch. So put your in a pike position, put one leg back with your heel flat and wrap that other foot around the back of the heel and let it stretch your calf muscle. Our skill today is a 16 round Tabata. You'll do pendulum lunges. The first uh, or odd uh, round you do the right leg, the even round you do the left leg. So here's how that looks. Reach your leg back, drop that knee, then go forward and drop the knee. Keep one leg stationary each time. Now, if you notice, I've got something under my feet to help my foot slide. You don't have to have something to slide, but if you've got a towel on a hard surface or maybe a furniture slider on a, a carpet, that works too. Now, the workout today is uh, five sets. We'll start with five sets of uh, with sprinting, 20 seconds of sprinting, 40 seconds of rest, and then you'll have a seven-minute AMRAP after the two-minute rest. All right, so start with uh, some sprinting. I chose to do some shuttle sprints since I was at the gym, but you can just sprint somewhere down uh, 20 seconds and walk back for 40 seconds. That's okay. Just make sure you do five rounds where you're sprinting for 20 seconds. Then you'll rest for two minutes. Then you'll do a seven minute AMRAP that includes uh, 10 ground to overhead. So you want to have an object where you can bring it down to the ground and bring it overhead. Then you'll do 10 handstand push-ups. So find a wall and uh, these could be kipping push-ups or strict push-ups, however you want to do them. Now, if you can't do handstand push-ups, you can do pike push-ups like so, and if you can't do those, just do normal push-ups. Uh, the lunges, 10 jumping lunges. These are jumping lunges where you jump up and then swing your uh, legs back through. But if you can't do jumping, just do a reverse lunge, that's okay. The core work today, um, you'll do 30, 20, 10 of hollow rocks and supermans. After each round, you do 30 second plank hold after each round. So the hollow rock, what you want to do is uh, put your hands by your side and then try to rock your feet forward. This is a scaled version actually here. These are some crunches. Uh, if you can't do that, the standard hollow rock is where you put your hands behind your head and you stretch your feet and hands out and then do a hollow rock. So we'll do 30. First round is 30. Then you'll do supermans where you raise your feet and legs off the ground like you're trying to fly like Superman. Here's from the front view. Uh, so 30, 20, 10, after each round, you do a 30 second leg. Then for the mobility, the mobility today, it, it'll take you about 18 to 20 minutes. So you'll do a cat cow, a wall cobra, a butterfly stretch, a turn back stretch, PVC, around the world hug, then laying on your laying overhead, squat to wall, and an armless prayer stretch. So here's the cat to cow. You wanna be on all fours, then arch your back up like your scared cat, then as you breathe out, uh, release your breath and look up to the sky like you're looking up to the moon, like a cow would look to the moon. That is a cat-cow. Just follow your breath back and forth for the minute. The wall cobra. 
you don't want to have your hips off the ground, but you want to put your knees back to the wall and you want to spread your arms out so that you can raise your torso up and have your hips still touching the ground. Butterfly stretch, we've done this one before. Put your feet together, put your elbows into your legs and then stretch the groin out. All right, turn back stretch. Put your palm to the wall, fingers facing backwards, then turn around and twist your body. The PVC bench lat stretch, this is where you put your palms facing you, put your head through the window of your arms and stretch that out. We did that a little bit in the warm up. Then the round the world stretch. Give yourself a nice hug, then rotate your torso either clockwise or counterclockwise. Do that for a minute, then switch your arms and go back the other way, counterclockwise, okay? Then uh, the laying overhead wall sit. So you're going to put your feet to the wall, scoot your bottom down so you're squatting in a squat stance, then put your hands back overhead. The armless prayer, you're gonna fold your elbows over your, your lower back and then put your them to the ground and put your head to the ground for three minutes. Now today for your mental health exercise, what I want you to do is sit somewhere as you rest and then just drink an extra glass of water. I always found when I was working with kids at camp that sometimes they'd get hurt or they'd get upset. And if you just kind of sit them down, make them drink a glass of water, kind of forces them to calm down and reassess and then they, they're ready to go back in once they've drank that glass of water. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great workout today. Go get it and make sure you get that swatty picture posted to our social media account. All right, thank you. Bye.